back on the tee at 18. Zalatoris one back. Job one. Get it in the fairway. That looks beautiful. Is it good, Rod? Starts up the left. Cutting. High cut. Wow. And that's deep. And that sets up Zalatoris to have a good crack with the second. Can try to avoid that big deep bunker which fronts this 18th. That's where Curtis Strange pulled off numerous clutch up and downs for his U.S. Open title, and now Zalatoris. This is Fitzpatrick. Now you just have to avoid the left bunkers at all cost. Yeah, for the most part, he's driven the ball brilliantly today, really. A little left. That's hooking. It's hooking. Oh, it stays short. Oh. Right in front of that island rough that's in the middle of that bunker. What a mistake. What a huge mistake. You've got miles to the right. You could hit it in the corporate tents and get a free drop. He now is at the mercy of the lie and whether or not he can get it up over that lip. That is a big error there. One of the really the only uh, errors he's made. I think this was a bad decision, a bad club. Should have hit an iron or should have hit a driver, in my opinion. And coming up to the green, Keegan Bradley. Who earlier said he's felt like, you know, one of the Boston athletes, Red Sox, Celtic this week. That's just been a dreamlike setting for him. Didn't turn out the way he would have hoped, but he steadied the ship after those three bogeys to start. That is for sure. Yeah, he had to be a little jumpy yep. when he got going and, it, you know, all the putts he missed were about eight footers to get out of the gate. Got his whole family here. Good Two job. boys. Yeah, and he salutes the support one last time that he's had all week here. Throughout the first pitch at Fenway Park on Tuesday night. That's how he started his championship week. And now round for par. He was five under leading through 17 yesterday Rom was before the double bogey at 18 plus six over the last 19 holes and no one knows better than the U.S. Open champion from Torrey Pines that that's not going to get it done didn't have his best stuff but he hung in there in this defense it was an admirable defense to say the least for John Rom and the fans are coming back in here to the 18th fairway as we've got two guys in the final pairing who may decide this U.S. Open Championship. Scotty Scheffler is in at five under, and there is the shot, tee shot by Fitzpatrick. And Roger Malby, have you had a chance to check it out? Well, he's just at the left side of that island in the middle of the bunker, and he does have a shot. The lie is good, but he's going to have to aim it to the left side of the green and try to cut it. It's so steep, the bank in front of him, I think going at the hole would be very risky. But he only has really one choice of shots to play, Paul. Hey. Wow. Well, he's fortunate, you know, it didn't go in that grass. He has hit it so well today. It wouldn't surprise me if he pulled this off. Well, he's also fortunate that ball's not two feet right because then his option would be very little. They probably have to pitch out, maybe. Well, there's a great look. Upset. Upset. And remember, Zalatoris is a great position. Look at Billy Foster's like plumb bobbing from behind the bunker. I'm trying to figure out on what line they can start. Yeah, 159 left. 
Well, the start line's more important than the side spin. He, he's got to start it on line. And then if it side spins, great. Pressure shot. Big time clutch shot by Fitzpatrick. 17 out of 18 greens in regulation. He choked way up on this. All ball. What a shot. He just skirted by the left edge of that little island rough. As good as the Sandy Lyle bunker shot at Augusta years ago. And he has put pressure on Zalatoris now. One back. One twenty nine at the fifty degree wedge out. Full attack now for Zalatoris. OK, looks good. It's a little deep rush, but he pulls the string on it. And he'll be inside just inside of Fitzpatrick for his birdie attempt. So Fitzpatrick trying to pull off this unlikely double a U.S. Amateur title and get a U.S. Open championship on the same course. And Will Zalatoris has his own link to U.S. Open history. When Will was six years old, this is before he moved to Texas with the family. He was living in San Francisco. And when he was uh, a young boy, six years old, the 1964 U.S. Open champion, Ken Venturi, came upon Will at the practice range at the California Golf Club and showed Will the proper grip. Venturi's trophy was on display at the Cal Clubhouse. And so Venturi was a name that Zalatoris knew early, and he's trying to win a U.S. Open here on a cold, damp day while Venturi survived that sweltering 36-hole day at Congressional to get his lone major title. And Zalatoris has put himself in position to get to six under to match Fitzpatrick. You go all the way back to the age of six on Zalatoris. These guys really have just been addicted to golf their entire lives. They've worked their entire life for this opportunity. And here they sit on the uh, 71st, 72nd hole. Zalatoris trying to become another demon deacon to win here. Curtis Strange, of course, back in 88. And Arnold Palmer was part of a playoff in 1963. And another U.S. Open here from Wake Forest. In fact, Salvatoris, a couple of big schools turned him down, but Jerry Haas, the brother of Jay Haas, the coach of Wake Forest, gave him the Arnold Palmer Scholarship in 2014 to come to Wake Forest. But Matthew Fitzpatrick can end all the drama right here with a birdie. So he's left a crack in the door for Zalatoris. That takes Scheffler out of it. We'll put a mark on that and take his time. So it's come down to one final putt. Are we going to see that two hole aggregate playoff in this U.S. Open? Will there be another playoff to decide another U.S. Open at the country club? All of them before this have been decided that way. Zalatoris for birdie to send it to that playoff. And Matthew 
Steve Fitzpatrick is a champion again at the Country Club in Brookline. And once again, Zalatoris comes just short. Billy Foster's got his major, and Matthew Fitzpatrick has his first win in the PGA Tour, and it's a major title. Well, he deserves it. And there's Alex on the bag. Oh, my God! His mom. Oh, so proud of you. <laughs> His parents, Russ and Sue, they've all been staying in the Fulton house. And that's Russ on Father's Day. How could it get any sweeter for Matthew Fitzpatrick? Joining Jack Nicholas as the only players to win the U.S. Amateur and the U.S. Open on the same course. It's that old country club magic. Proven to be true again. Yeah, that's an incredible reaction. You know, that's, this is what a lifetime of work looks like when you achieve what you set out and dreamed of your whole life to achieve. And his coach, Pete Cowan, told me before the tournament started that uh, he felt Matt Fitzpatrick was going to get this done. There's Rory. He knows what it means to win the U.S. Open. That's as great a ball striking round as you'll see. You go back in history of the Sundays of major championships, and it'd be hard to find one better than what we saw today. How close did Will Zalatoris come to his second straight playoff in a major championship? That close. Nobody made the putt. Everybody thought it would go a little more right. Will came closer than any player. And there's the brother in the background, just elated. There's Billy Foster. Yeah, he's, he's got his major, finally. Guy's been out here catting for 40 years. <laughs> it's Fitzpatrick who says, you gonna be okay, Billy? You all right? What a week at the country club. Fitzpatrick, the 13th player to win the U.S. Amateur in the U.S. Open. The very first was, of course, Francis Wimet. Alex can't contain himself. He looked about as old as Eddie Lowry did nine years ago when he was on the back of the U.S. Amateur. He flew out of here, flew back. It was a journey for him just to get back here. Finally got him back here and was there to witness his brother's U.S. Open championship. Just like he was here nine years ago. Storybook finish indeed. Once again to another U.S. Open at the Country Club.